HO track scales to about 15 inch gauge in 124th scale and is referred to as GN15. The friend commissioned me to convert his Bachman ON30 shade to GN15. It should be arriving on the next train. I have seen GM15 implemented with a G scale engineer protruding from an HO locomotive representing an amusement park ride or as an HO locomotive with a cab that accommodates the G scale engineer and G scale accessories, giving the little locomotive a whimsical look. I started with a photo of a Shea and overlaid sketches of possible modifications to GN15. Once I had a plan, a trip to the junkyard yielded potentially useful parts, including a Bachman G scale Davenport cab. The cab is held to the frame with three finger like tabs which pass through slots in the cab floor. A block holds the tabs, preventing them from sliding out of the slots. There's a significant amount of plumbing attached to the cab. Some slip fit into positions while the rest is glued to the cab and the cab floor. With the plumbing loose, the screw holding the block is removed and the block is sprung out of place. A small box glued to the floor is popped out and the cab is slid sideways and released. The midsection was removed from a Davenport cab and a section was removed from the sides to make the cab fit the shea. The front cab pieces were trimmed to straddle the boiler. Since the cuts were crooked, the styrene sticks were bonded into the joint between the roof and the sides to square up the assembly. The resulting gaps were filled with two-part epoxy putty. To retain the cab, it was bonded to the tender tank and a block was added to the front to provide a screw attachment through the floor. The retaining stud was cut from the yoke of a plastic bell and it was drilled to accept a 1 16th inch diameter brass rod. The rod was fitted into a hole in the boiler where the original bell was removed. An old headlamp was cut from its support bracket and split open. A 390 ohm resistor was attached to each lead of a soft white LED to extend the leads and to limit the LED and directional lighting circuit current. The smoke box door pops open and the connectors attaching the headlamp LED leads slip off. The plastic headlamp can be removed, but the glued attaching tabs are likely to snap. The taller cab requires a taller stack. The funnel, cut from a toy train, was fitted to a styrene tube which slips over the stack and makes a stack extension. The headlamp was attached to the stack extension. The LED leads are fed into the smoke box and the connectors slipped over the leads. Some brass tube and rod made an extension to an old whistle and it was inserted into a hole drilled between the steam dome and the turbo generator. A toolbox was cut down and so it would fit the catwalk and a set of brass gauges were mounted over the boiler. The parts were loose assembled in the locomotive test run. Parts were then painted and leathered prior to final assembly and light weathering was applied. If you enjoyed this video, share it with a friend and check out some of the other G-Scale projects on this channel. Thank you for watching.